Hi, I'm Natalie Rhodes, and this is Into Math's 5th grade, Module 10, Lesson 3. Let's start off by going over the I Can objective. It says, I can create a story context and use a visual model to interpret the division of a unit fraction by a whole number. And the learning objective is write a word problem and use a visual model to interpret the division of a unit fraction by a whole number. The prior learning is that students represented fractions as the product of a whole number and a unit fraction. Students multiplied fractions by whole numbers using visual models and equations, and students solved word problems involving multiplication of a fraction by a whole number. All right, so moving over into lesson three on page 247, we have a word problem. This is Darren thinks about how he can use division of fractions by whole numbers in his cooking class. He considers the expression half divided by eight. What word problem can be written for one half divided by eight? Draw a visual model to show the quotient and then explain what it represents. Okay, so these next couple lessons are going to be um, very different. So you are now creating a word problem yourself. So all of these answers are really going to be dependent on what you or your student parents decides to write for their word problems. And you can choose to write the word problems down in these green boxes, or you could just talk about it verbally and then make sure you're just drawing that visual model down in the green box. All right, so... I decided to teach um, or stick with the teacher's edition of story problem, especially because that's what's showing in the picture and because it's specifically talking about a cooking class. That just seemed easiest to me. So the half is representing half of the batter in the bowl. So the bowl is not full, it's only half full. And this half batter is being split between eight cupcakes because in the picture, he has some cupcake liners. So then we would be looking for how much batter was in each cupcake liner. So my official word problem wording would be something like, if Darren had a half bowl of batter and was splitting it into eight cupcakes, how much batter would each cupcake have? That wording would be a good choice for what we want to do. Now we want to really focus on that visual model. So... Um, what I did was I went ahead and took up most of the green box here, just so I have enough room. All right, so here is my one hole, and I know I'm working with a half. So what I did is I went ahead and just broke my visual model in half. Then going the other way, I wanted to split it into eight pieces. So just to make sure my spacing is correct, I made a half, and then I did a half of that, and then I did a half of that to make an eighth. So if I go ahead and get it right in the middle, that's a half. Then if I split that half and half, now I'm going to have fourths. And if I split each of those in half, I'm going to have eighths. Okay, now I have my half divided into eight. But we need to figure out what's going on. So... I need to count how many pieces total I have. If you know I just split it into eight, you could say eight and eight is 16. What I did is I just went ahead and counted just to make sure I actually did my visual model correct. So I did eight on that side and then I'll have nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. And what I'm really focusing on is just the one of the 16 pieces. So my fraction here would be 1 out of 16, and what does that number stand for? Each muffin or each cupcake is going to be having 1 16th of the total batter that was in the bowl. All right, let's go ahead and flip the page here to page 248. Now it's going to be your guys' turn to do this. So number one, continuing on, it says, Darren considers situations in which a fractional quantity is divided into equal groups. Darren thinks about the expression one-fourth divided by two. And it shows the little chef over here, and he has one-fourth, and then he has his little, little cleaver here. 
So for A, it says, describe a situation in which one fourth of an item can be divided into two equal parts. How do the quantities represent the dividend, the divisor, and the quotient? So no matter what you come up with, it's probably going to be something about food because that's what we've been talking about. We have a little chef. We're talking about Darren in a cooking class. No matter what you decide to come up with is great. You just want to make sure that the dividend, the divisor, and the quotient are all relating to the correct quantities. Then for B, it says, what word problem can you write that can be modeled by one fourth divided by two and includes a question about the size of each part? This is where you can really write out your very quick word problem here. And then underneath it, just draw a visual model. Again, you can do this with rectangles or circles. Either one is perfectly acceptable. And then C, use your visual model to write a division equation, then explain what the quotient represents. So go ahead and write your division problem, tell me what it equals, and then tell me what your answer, your quotient, is representing in your problem that you made. All right, go ahead and try this out, and then we'll come back together. Go ahead and hit pause here. All right, great work. Let's go ahead and go through this. So for A, it says, describe a situation in which one fourth of an item can be divided into two equal parts. As soon as I start talking about food, I always go to steak, right? I love me some steak. So that's what I went with. I decided to kind of veer off of what the teacher's manual said. So I have one fourth. What this would represent is one fourth of a pound and I am splitting it into two, right? Me and my husband, we're going to split one fourth of a steak. So that's one fourth of a pound being divided into two. So I want to decide what's my dividend, what's my divisor and what's my quotient. So really all I did here was I set it up and I said my dividend Oops, sorry, my pen's messing up here. Dividend, divisor, and then my quotient. Little messy, but you get it here. All right, so for my dividend, that's your total. So whatever your total was for whatever word problem you made up, that's what you would put in your dividend. For me, the dividend is the weight of the steak before it's cut up. So I just said weight of steak. And then for the divisor, that's what I'm cutting it by. So that should all be the same because we're given that two. Our two is our divisor, and that should be the same for all of us since they gave us the equation to work with. So the divisor is the pieces, for me, pieces of steak. And there are going to be two pieces. And then your quotient is your total. So that's your answer. So if you decided to go weight with me, that would be the weight of each. If you decided to do something different, it would just be what each of your items is. So for me, my quotient was the weight per person or per stake, right? So I would be getting a portion, and then if I'm splitting it with my husband or my best friend, whoever wants to be eating steak with me, will be getting that other half of the portion. So for B, it says, what word problem can you write that can be modeled by one-fourth divided by two and includes a question about the size of each part? So um, I decided to go a little bit different with my word problem. I decided to talk as a child because that's how you guys are going to be doing this. So I said, mom bought one fourth pound steak to split with dad. What weight is each of their steaks? I'm not going to take the time to write that down. And especially because my pen is acting a little funky right now. I'm just going to say it verbally to you one more time. I just said, mom bought one fourth of a steak to split with dad. What weight is each of their steaks? That would be giving me the quotient. Now, looking at the pictures, normally my go-to is always in rectangles. So I decided to show this in circles just for learners that might get fractions a little bit easier with circles. So if I go ahead and draw my big circle, that's going to be my one hole. And I know that I want to be starting out by cutting it in two fourths. So that's my original number. Now I'm going to take the fourth, and I'm actually going to show it in a different color here. I'm going to be splitting them 
in half each way. So I'm splitting them all into two. Now, how many pieces are there total? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And when you're working in a circle, it is pretty good idea to draw circles just so you don't keep going and then accidentally count over another number. So I do have eight. This is showing if I chose one of them, I would have one of the eight total, which means that if I was having this steak, my steak would weigh one eighth of a pound. That's what that total quotient is showing. So then for C, if I'm working through it, I know that I have my one fourth and I divided it by two, just like the problem they gave us in the word problem. I know that that equals one eighth and then that one eighth is in my problem, at least one eighth of a pound of steak. All right, that's it for this lesson. Go ahead and keep working through all of your problems for the rest of this lesson, and I will see you back for module 10, lesson four.